What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be talking about a hidden 99 overall pink diamond the 2k have just released in NBA 2k17. In this video I'm going to be going over the player, I'm going to be going over the player stats, how they play in game, what I think is the best way to use them, and also what makes them a 99 overall pink diamond. And before we start, remember if you like the video hit that like button, if we can get 300 likes that would be great. And subscribe if you're new, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers right now, hopefully we can get that by the end of the week. So Nate Archibald is around the 70k mark, around 68-70k right now. I picked mine up for 53k yesterday, but that was on a refresh, and to be honest, most of the time you could probably pick him up for around 61-62, I'm probably just looking at a bad time. So Nate Archibald, 99 offense, 99 defense overall, comes with 17 bronze badges. Yep, I wish they were gold. But 17 bronze isn't the worst. Look at his tendencies. He has a driving intensity of 25, which is a little bit weird because he dunks an awful lot for some reason, even though his ratings are low. 98 driving layup. Um, open shot mid 96, contest shot mid 96, open shot 3 93, free throw 91, 97 ball control, 98 passing IQ, really good. Um, lateral quickness 98, on ball defensive IQ 93, so he's just gonna lock people down. Driving dunk 35, which is a lie because he tends to dunk a lot. That's probably because he has a 97 vertical, but 99 speed, 99 speed with ball, and 99 acceleration. That you can't get faster than this card. While he's six foot one, meaning that he's not gonna feel like he has 99 speed, because for some reason, taller players are faster automatically, 2K, I don't know why they did that, but still, his acceleration is gonna show, because he's gonna be able to blow by people really easily. You look at this card and like 99 offense, 99 defense. How is it a 95? I'm gonna explain that now. So these are tiny Archibald stats, and there's one stat you actually can't find by looking through it on uh, my team. You have to look on a site called 2KMT Central, and that stat is intangibles. Basically, what intangibles is, if I've made about six or seven videos on it at least at this stage, but it's basically a stat that 2K uses to make players overalls lower than they actually are. So this card has a 40 intangibles. Only a 40 intangibles, meaning that it is so much better than 95 overall. Basically, intangibles does nothing except lower overall. It does nothing in game, but it does lower players overall. So even though this card more than likely is a 99 overall, a lot of you guys may be a little bit kind of confused about how intangibles work and still say he's only 95 overall. So what I did was I compared him to the best statistics wise point guard in the game, Pink Diamond Isaiah Thomas. Both cards are 6 foot 1 so the height can't really be used in an argument and I'm going to show the two card stats right now. So these cards have very very similar stats. Obviously Isaiah Thomas is a better dunker and Nate Archibald is a little bit of a better shooter but overall they are very very similar. And there's also one th thing. If you look at total attributes, the card that has one more is the 95 overall. Yep, the 95 overall diamond has more total stats than the pink diamond supposed best point guard in the game. So Tiny Archibald doesn't have too many hot zones, has two cold zones, but his shot form is really, really nice. If you look right before he takes a shot, he kind of brings the ball to the top of his head, which is when you know to release the ball. But basically, he's got a little bit of a long release, which can be a big problem if he's six foot because he's six foot one. But at the same time, because it's longer, it's way easier to get those green releases. It's not too long where it's too much of a detriment to him, but it's not too quick where you're not gonna be able to get green at all. He's one of the easiest cards I've used to get green releases with, and when he's open, he's gonna get it an awful lot. Off the dribble, he can shoot really well, and going to the basket, he's really good. He can dunk for some reason. Basically, if he has a free run to the basket, he will dunk because of that 97 vertical. But where he excels is as a shooter off the dribble, shooter from three, and maybe the odd time going to the basket. So now we're on to some gameplay footage. I played one game with him, and really, as far as mid-range shooting point guards go, you can't get that much better. His passing was really good from what I used. I didn't pass too much with him, but I probably should have. His three-point shot is really nice, a really nice release, easy to get greens, but his pull-up is just incredible. 96 off-dribble shot mid and a 90 off-dribble shot three means that he's going to be able to pull up anywhere pretty much and score. I wish he, I had him upgrade to a goal limitless range, but he seems to finish so well to basket as well. Like, contested, through contact, he finishes well. So, it's like 2K tried to make smaller players slightly better this year. 
but really as far as shooting goes you can't get too much better like 90 the difference between 93 and 97 is quite small from the free throw line he's got a 91 free throw even though i don't think he's gonna fail that much he's still not gonna miss him when he gets there going to the basket he was quick like he's able to get by people quite easily but a lot of the time he is gonna get blocked going to the basket obviously i'm not showing him getting blocked in these highlights but he did get blocked an awful lot going in he was very fast he could get by players with ease and really whether you're using him as a scorer, as a true point guard, he's going to be very solid. I'd rather use him as a true point guard because he's going to get blocked a lot if he's just a scorer, but he can do that just fine as well. So 2K have basically just released a pink diamond Isaiah Thomas onto the market, and they're so common that this card will never be more than 70k. Well, while it's in packs anyway. Nate Archibald isn't going to be as good as a stat show because he's only 6 foot 1, but even still, at the price you cannot get that much better and this video has basically proved that he is really a 99 overall and it's just such a good such a versatile card it can be used as a scoring point guard it can be used as a facilitator it can be used as a, as a defender a really solid card and definitely a card that if you have the money you should you should buy because i can't see his price dropping anyway so anyway that's the video thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe With all the things that's going on, I lost track. I felt so strong.